from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. Yeah, you are God from beginning to the end. There's no place, oh, no one like you. You are God all by yourself. Oh, Father, set my heart on fire for you. Oh Lord, set my heart on fire for you, for you. Oh Lord, yes. Set my heart on fire for you. Let me burn for you. Set my life in honor for you. For you. Yes, Lord.
Yes, Lord. I want to know your ways. Just worship him. Make that your prayer point this morning. Set my heart on fire for you. Set my life on fire for you. Set my heart on fire for you. Set my life in honor for you. For you. Set my life on fire for you. Come on, just worship him. For you. Just worship him. 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 Oh, Rabagada Baskin, the little boss in Tarabas. Rabogodos can terribles in Talabas. Rikatos can terriba Catolia. I did it a boss in Tarabas. Father, we worship you this morning, afternoon. We bless you, Jesus. We worship your holy name. We say, may your name be praised. May your name be exalted. May your name be glorified. You are worthy to be praised and adored. You are worthy to be lifted, O God. I need God to allow me. I need to allow me. I to I need to allow me. I need to allow me. Oh, we worship your holy name, Jesus. We exalt you, faithful Father. Let your name be glorified. Let your name be lifted. Let your name be exalted. You are worthy to be praised, O oh God. To suit you. Father, we thank you. I arrange my life to be ready for you. Yes, Lord. I don't want to be ashamed when you come. Mm. What is life? What is life? If the major thing I should be thinking of is not in the radar. Hallelujah. What is life? Hallelujah. 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 Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Set my heart on fire for you, Jesus. Oh, set my heart on fire for you. Set my heart on fire for you, Jesus. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be lifted, O God. La da 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 boss, can't tell the little boss, can't tell the boss, she can't tell the boss in the rabbit. Lord, we worship your majesty. We worship your majesty. We magnify your name. We exalt you, Jesus. You are worthy to be praised and adored. Let your name be glorified. Lord, set my heart on fire. Let me burn for you, Jesus. I want to burn more for you, Lord. I want to burn more for you, Jesus. Have your way, 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 Jesus, have your way. Lord, we exalt you, we exalt you, we exalt you, we exalt you Lord. We exalt you, Jesus. We exalt you, Jesus. Lord, we magnify you. Tell the Lord to set your heart on fire. Say, tell him to set your heart on fire. Life is worth much more when Jesus is involved. Tell him to set your heart on fire for him and for his kingdom. Oh, set me on fire, Lord. I want to burn. I want to burn more for you, Jesus. I want to live for you. I want to know you more. I want to love you more. I want to serve you.
serve you more. I want to do more for you, oh God. Set my heart on fire. Set my heart on fire, Lord, for you. Set my heart on fire for you, Lord. La brogodos kendele le boshi taraba. Reprakatos kendele le le bos sentel yaraba. I want to know your way. I want to know you more. I'm going to invite the man of God that is taking us for today. Man of God, I can't see your your I can't see your name. Up. Can you request to join the video if you are watching? Hallelujah. Make it your prayer. Congratulations to those of you that completed this three days fast. No food for three days. The Lord Himself has already intervened in that situation. Hallelujah. 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 Make sure you are born in for Him. Make sure nothing is giving you pleasure. Make sure nothing else is giving you pleasure. Make sure nothing is giving you pleasure. Eh, makara ba 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 we worship you. Set my life, set my heart on fire for you. In the name of Jesus. I'm waiting to see the man of God, so I will invite him. So he can just take up. Man of God, if you can see me, please invite yourself. I can't see your name. Man of God, leave a comment. Leave a message, a comment, so I will see you. I can't see you. I love for you. For you. I want to know your heart. I want to know your ways. I want to bond for you. I want to be for the man of God. I want to know you. I want to walk with you, Jesus. I want to be like you, Jesus. Lord. We've gathered here to remind ourselves. 
details of the return of the Lord. Or let me put it this way, the beginning of the return. That's why we are gathered here. So this is the best prayer you can be praying. That God will align you. Tell yourself the truth. I will tell myself, I need God to align me. I need him to align me. For a lot of us, if he returns today or tomorrow, we know we are not aligned. So I need him to align me. That's my prayer. Arrange my life to please you. Arrange my life to suit you. Hallelujah. Arrange my life God bless to be Lord. ready for you. Yes, Lord. I don't want to be ashamed mm -mm. when you come. No. What is life? What is life? If the major thing I should be thinking of is not in the radar. Hallelujah. What is life? God bless all of you. Good morning. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good, good evening. You are all welcome in Jesus' name. This is the third day of our three days fast. This is the last day of the fast. And God has been so good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For those of you that fasted, your story has changed in the name of Jesus. I say the Lord doing a new thing in your lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm just going to invite the man of God that is going to handle this, and then we are going to have our communion. So I hope you have your communion ready. You have your, whatever you want to use, the cream cracker. We use cream cracker because it's hard to get the living bread. And then we use the red juice, red, red wine, non-alcoholic wine. So I hope you have yours ready. We'll be, we'll, be, we'll be breaking our fast with our communion. Praise the Lord. God has been so good. And the team, is the music too loud? Should I reduce the volume? For some reason, this is all I want today. My heart to be on fire for him because when your heart is on fire for God, you will love him, you will obey him. You will not struggle with him. You will not struggle with his word. You will not struggle with obedience. You will not struggle with prayer. You will not struggle with Bible study. You will not struggle with giving. You will not struggle with anything that has to do with this race that we are running. And so that is my prayer. Lord, set my heart on fire for you. When you are born for God, nothing else will matter. You do not have food to eat. It still will not matter. No money in your pocket. It still will not matter. Because his joy will fill your heart. Because you are just so contented to know that you love God. And you know that he is right there fighting for you. Working on your behalf. Oh my God. Last night I was talking to this woman of God. We were just talking and things happened and right there as i was talking god gave me the um uh, god started speaking to me about dreams i'm going to teach on that i'm just waiting for the man of god to come on but i don't know maybe his network is his network is really bad in that area so i might have to go on with with that message until i see him praise the lord dream dream father we thank you for this hour let your name be praised. Let your name be glorified. Help us, Jesus, that our hearts be set on fire for you. That nothing else will matter to us. That we will begin to yearn for you. That we will begin to live for you. That we begin to live our lives to please you. In the name of Jesus. Makalaba Senteriaba. That everything we do will be according to your will. Everything we say will be in accordance to your will, Father. In the name of Jesus. That you will set our hearts, our lives in order. In the mighty name of Jesus. 
Help us to burn for you alone. In the name of Jesus. Man of God. I can't. Uh, I can't even see your name too to invite you. Let me see if he's there now. Go to Power and Grace and connect from there. No, go to no go to Evangelist Patience and look by me platform a uh, profile. I connect the video from there. Evangelist Patience and look by me connect from there. Let's see. Yeah. Pastor is there, but he can't see the video to invite himself. So. So that is it, you know. And I got, and then I, the Holy Ghost. In fact, I was just the Holy Ghost came upon me so strong last night. I was blasting in tongues and all of that. And part of the discussion was what happened. And I was telling God, even there, let me show you the message. Look at the message God gave to me that same last night. <laughs> Sister Linata, God bless you. Drama queen. <laughs> you want to keep people with your drama, eh? <laughs> you want to kill us with laugh. God bless you. You are so funny. You are just too much, eh? You are too much. <laughs> you always make us laugh with your drama. Oh, drama. <laughs> God bless you. God bless you. So look at that. And then I got a message last night. I want I was speaking to my woman of God. We were talking and then at the end of it all. Oh, uh, I'm trying to find a message. Uh, okay, listen to the message I got. So at the end of the message, <laughs> at the end of the message like that, the Holy Ghost just came upon me and I started speaking in tongue. And then I got a message right there following our discussions. That discussion is private, so I'm not going to go there. But the message I got was this. It says, as I said, God began to speak to me. I says, did I not tell you to relax? Did I not tell you to relax? Did I not tell you to continue to trust me? I have a plan. Just believe. I is, listen to the message I got last night. I was after my conversation with the woman of God. And in the end of it, at the end of the message, then I started speaking in the Holy Ghost. And suddenly God began to speak. I heard him telling me, after that, did I not tell you to relax? Did I not tell you to continue to trust me? Uh, did I not tell you to come to trust me? I have a plan. Just believe. And I was in tears last night. And then this morning, look at the message one of my daughters here sent to me. She wasn't the one that sent me that message. It was God that put that message in her. I'm going to read it. I've posted it, but I want to read it. 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 Sorry. This one is... Uh... She said, Mommy... I'm waiting for Pastor. Pastor, can you see me? Leave a message. I can't see you. Can you guys hear me or is the music too loud? Let me reduce it. Pastor, if you can hear me, I still can't see you so I can invite you. While we are waiting for Pastor, then I heard the, this uh, daughter of mine sent me this message. She's my spiritual daughter. You know, we are women, men and women of God. We are your spiritual parents. Say, mommy, at least she, for, oh, man of God is here. Let me see if I can see you. Uh-huh. I'm inviting you. I will read it for you. Don't worry. It's already on my page. Man of God. <laughs> uh, 
How are you? I can see you online. What is that on your front? There is I'm fine. What is that in front of you? You put something in front I of you. I can see you. one line across. Yeah, I'm seeing the line too. That's what I'm saying. Uh -huh. It's your Bible or something. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's like it's a barricade so that the tab will not fall. Do you know <laughs> that? You're welcome. You're that when I invite Are you guys seeing the color? Green, purple, uh, all the time. We will be having. Is that so? Is this the show? Not go remove yourself. Oh. It's better for us to be hearing your voice with the color than for you not to come at all. Purple, green. <laughs> I don't know why it's like that. <laughs> I don't know why. It's your phone, but I will just give it to you. I will read the message later after Pastor finishes his message. <laughs> oh, yeah. Go on. Please. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Network. Nigeria, he's in Nigeria. That's why his network is always like this. All Nigeria pastors, their network is always like that. It's frozen now, if you can hear me. It's frozen. So we have to invite him again. So while I'm waiting for him, is his network. The network is poor. Now, so as I was saying, then this morning, I was even getting ready to come online, and then as this message came in, sitting there. In fact, when I read the message, uh, it was a message from my father. You know, when you are just wondering, and you are just thinking, Lord, is there anything else you want me to do? Am I doing enough? What else can I do? I want to do more. You know, and then following what happened last night, Say, mommy, I just want to take time to honor you. I want you to know that I appreciate you. The Lord brought you in my life, in, in, in the midst, in the, brought you in my life in the most difficult time of my, brought you to me, or maybe in my dad, in the most difficult, brought you in the most difficult time in my life. I cried out to the Lord for help, and he sent you to me. And he sent you to me. We serve an awesome God indeed. I thank God for your anointing that sets the captives free. If it's not your obedience to God, I won't be completely free today. I pray that God will give me this grace to be like you. God had finally uh, uh, gave me understanding of that scripture. I received tonight. I want you to know that I'm not only sending you $1,000. I'm also going to do the best I can to finance the work of God. It is God that put this in her, not man. I definitely can't stop paying my tithes. But the same amount I will pay for tithes, I will also pay towards the mission. Are you listening to this? That is double sacrifice. The same amount she will pay for her tithes, assuming her tithe is $5, she will also pay $5 to the mission. If her tithe is $10, she will also pay, that is double tithe before God. <laughs> These are people that provokes God. These are things that provokes God. Hmm. Because it is not convenient. So, 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 so it's definitely a big sacrifice for me. But it's kingdom business. And my father's work. Mm -hmm, number one understanding is to understand that the work of God is the work of your father. If you are a Christian, if he's your father. So it's nothing compared to what the Lord have done and continues to do for me. I love you. Don't worry. Now this is the message that she sent that she said, she said, she said, 
don't worry about anything but pray about everything god is on the throne and he is in control that is encouragement she she did not just type this god put it in her to type that last part do not worry that was a message personal message it was a personal message like when i read it that was of all the things she wrote to i appreciate all the money, I appreciate all. The honor, the gratitude, I appreciate all. But this part was speaking loudly to me. Don't worry about anything, but pray about everything. God is on the throne and he is in control. And God just told me last night, did I not tell you to trust me? Did I not tell you? Do you understand? I have a plan. And then he's not confirming his word. And again, based on the discussion I, I had with that woman of God and everything, he's not confirming it with the message of this, this woman. And it meant, it means, it meant a lot. It was so encouraging. Man of God, I'm inviting you. I just wanted to know that when you are so that for God, when you are completely so that for God, he takes care of your own business. Why you take care of his own business? And when God sends you on an errand and you are set to go on that errand, he goes with you. He goes with you. So don't be afraid. When God is telling you to do anything, don't be afraid. Because he knows how to perfect his word. He knows how to bring his word of fulfillment in your life. And then he was even telling me about Joseph. This morning I woke up, I was reading, I posted it. I didn't know how I read nine chapters of the Bible this morning. But the moment I woke up, I wanted to come online. But the Holy Ghost, my mind, my spirit was just telling me to read the Bible instead. And then I was reading about um, Joseph. From there, before I knew it, I, it was at the end, I realized, I was like, the Holy Ghost reminded me of when one, a, this same woman of God one time during the witch must die was saying that she read seven chapters of the Bible. I was like, Wow. How can somebody just reshape seven chapters, seven chapters of the Bible? And the Holy Ghost just told me this morning, he said, count your own. And I counted nine chapters. I have never read nine chapters in one go of the Bible. This is the first time. So that's why I'm singing and shouting about it too. Because now grace to read nine chapters of the Bible, not just reading it, but studying it for two and almost two and a half hours, reading nine chapters. It is like a book you can read in 30 minutes if you have to read it like a book. 30 minutes, you don't read nine chapters, finish. But this one, because we are doing the study, I am coloring, I am writing and everything, nine chapters only this morning. And I was so blessed. And I'm going to teach you guys what I learned from that nine chapters. It was about dream. Joseph's dream. Are you afraid to dream? I'm going to let the man of God continue because his data is money. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I have enough. Uh, welcome. I Anna. have enough. <laughs> welcome. <laughs> Carry <It's> on. My <laughs> so there, there, there are witches that need to die in Europe too. <laughs> there are plenty. There are plenty. Well, in Europe, there are plenty passes. <laughs> I, I, you know, I was thinking it's only in our African context <laughs> that witches need to but die. There are, plenty, there are plenty like Africa on too. <laughs> Wonderful. They will die. Oh. They will die by fire. They must die. Yes, so oh. Praise the Lord. Our God is I'm, good. So shall, I'm happy to be here one more time. I'm happy to be here one more time. And I appreciate you, woman of God. I like what you are doing. I like what you are doing. Sincerely, I like what you are doing. That is why I'm always happy to be a part of it. Because Amen. I know that you are not doing it for man. And whatever is done in the name of God is one thing that I always like to participate in. Amen. So one more time, I want to appreciate every one of us who are here already. It's a season of fasting and prayer. And certainly there must be upliftment. Amen. We cannot spend these three days and then we remain the same. There must be a change. There must be an upliftment. Mm. Somebody will be affected mm. positively in the name of Jesus. 
Let's appreciate God for this opportunity, bringing us together once again. Lord, we say thank you for giving us the breath of life, for keeping us, for allowing us to have an opportunity to call upon you again. Mighty God, we exalt you. And I ask, oh God, in these few minutes, touch someone, answer somebody's prayer. Amen. Do something new in the life of someone. Amen. That your name alone be exalted. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our God remains good God. Yes, Lord. This afternoon, I want to share with us briefly before we begin our prayers. I would like to remind us too that it's a fasting and prayer season. And before you begin to fast and to pray, there must be something in your heart that you really want God to do for you. And that is why I want to join my faith with you, that whatever it is that you are trusting him for, power belongs to him. That's right. He's able. Praise the Lord. And I want to start by sharing with us from the book of Psalm 75 and verse 6 and 8. Psalm 75 and verse 6. I'm reading from the Amplified Bible. It says, For not from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south, come promotion and lifting up. But God is the judge. He puts down one and lifts up another. Praise the Lord. This is the aspect that I really want us to focus on. The Bible says it is not by strength that one prevails. It is not by strength. The testimony that the woman of God shared just now, when I, when I was listening, even though she said she wasn't seeing me, but I was seeing her clearly. It is purely the handwork of God. It is purely the handwork of God. And for you that is here with us, you will share your own testimony too. I strongly believe that. Amen. Promotion, upliftment, does not come because of a human desire. It does not come because of human labor. It does not come because you know somebody in government or because you have some rich people in your family who can lift you up. But it comes from God. That's right. I've always tell people that is the governor or the president. If he will not help you, he will not help you. Praise the Lord. It is God who judge. He lifts up one and he brings down another. In this season, may God lift you up in the name of Jesus. Amen. May God promote you in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray this prayer quickly. Say, oh God, oh God. empower me to be that which you want me to be. Which... Just say that quietly. Lord God, Please. empower me shall... to be Amen. that which you want me to be. Praise the Lord. Oh, Praise the Lord. Much. I want us to understand this this afternoon. Spiritual hunger precedes manifestation of divine possibilities. For there to be a manifestation of God in your life, there must have been a spiritual hunger, a spiritual dissatisfaction. You must be dissatisfied with your condition before you can press for a change. And in this season, I believe this is why we are here. We are dissatisfied with our condition. Where we are now may be good, but it's not the best that God has for us. You may have that which you need. Your position may be good in society, but it's not the best that God has for his children. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You must be tired of where you are before you can press to move forward. And for you to move forward, you need power. You need power. You need power to win in this race of life. But the power belongs to God. The power belongs to God. But he has given us the opportunity to draw from the power. Praise the Lord. You need power to win. Understand that. No disputing it. You need power to win. You need power to excel in life because excellence doesn't come by personal effort. 
doesn't come by labor. Praise the Lord. Now, the Bible declared, David talking in Psalm 27 and verse 13, that is what I really want to dwell on. Psalm 27 and verse 13. I'm sure you've gotten it. Psalm 27 verse 13. What would have become of me? Psalm 27 verse 13. David asked the question, what would have become of me? Had I not had I not believed had I not believed that I will see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. There is a connection between what you believe and what happens to you in reality. Are we together? There is a connection between what you believe and what happens to you. This is David. that something else would have happened to him if he had not believed if he had not believed that he would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living we know as children of God one day we will end the journey here and we will be with the Lord but we are not talking about that now while we are here what happens to us it will be abnormal it will be abnormal, it will be out of place if as a child of God, things don't work according to what the word of God has promised. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want us to believe what David believed. What would have happened to me? Read that scripture for yourself. Verse 13, Psalm 27. What would have become of me had I not believed that I will see the goodness of the Lord? In the land of the living. In this land, wherever your location is, whether in Europe, in Africa, in America, just believe. You will see the goodness of the Lord. God is not a wicked God. God delights in the prosperity of his children. He delights in the well-being of his children. But you must believe. There is a connection between that which you believe and that which will happen for you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Psalm 3, verse 3. The psalmist declared, But you, O Lord, are a shield around me, my glory, the one who lifts up my head. Verse 4 says, I call unto the Lord, and he heard me out of his holy mountain. This is a season we are calling on God. As we are, everybody has his own challenge. We are all challenged in different ways. What is happening to you may be different from what is happening to the other. But the good thing is this. We call on the Lord and he hears us from his holy mountain. He answers prayers, but you must do the calling. Praise the Lord. You must do the calling. You may have been praying since the beginning of this program two days ago. The prayer you have prayed is not enough for you to relax now. Mm -hmm. You must continue with it. You must continue it. Jesus made a declaration in Matthew chapter 7 and verse 7. He said, you should ask and it shall be given to you. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Did Jesus tell you how many times you need to ask? The question is for you. Did you read in the Bible that he said, ask on Monday, ask on Tuesday, or ask one, two, thrice, then forget? No, he said ask. That means you are to continue to ask until you receive. He said knock. He said seek. In knocking, you may knock once and the owner of the house didn't hear you. But as you keep knocking, the door will be opened. That's right. This is what I want to present to us this afternoon. It is true, we'll be concluding the prayer today.
But your prayer should not end today. Even after we have concluded these three days, continue to pray. You must be loved. Whichever land you have found yourself, you will see the goodness of the Lord. Praise the Lord. I will not die and go to heaven to see uh, streets that are tarred with gold. I will not die and go to heaven before I can see the good things of life. In this land where I am residing, I will see the goodness of the Lord. Hallelujah. And for as long as you believe, as long as you believe God that he can change the situation, he is able to change it. I see a lifting coming your way in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will not remain like this, the Lord. Now, let's go to the main issue. Let's go to the main issue. But you, Lord, are a shield around me. My glory. You are the one who lifts up my head. How do you see this God? How do you see this God? As I'm talking to us now, I know that we are from different denominational backgrounds. But how you see God matters. Whichever denomination you belong to, how you see God matters. him as my God. And then apart from being my God, there should be something else that I should see about him. You see him as your God. But there should be something else that you should see about him. What else do you need to see? Whatever it is that is your heart desire, see it in God. Are you with me? I will explain this further. See God based on what you need from him. See him based on what you desire from him. Number one, he is God. Then number two, he is something else. What is it that you desire from him? Praise the Lord. I'll just give you a cue. I'll give you a cue so that you get a better understanding of what I am trying to say. Joshua, the mighty man of war, saw God as Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah my banner, the one who gives me victory in battles. That was how Joshua saw God. First of all, God was his father. And then secondly, he saw God as the one who fights his battles. And God actually fought in every battle that Joshua was involved in. Hallelujah. So that's what I mean by you seeing God according to what you desire from him. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So Joshua seeing him as his banner symbolizes the fact that God is the one who gives him victory. David declared in Psalm 23 verse 1, the Lord is my shepherd. Praise the Lord. He saw God as his shepherd. First of all, he is my God, and then he is my shepherd. Why did David see him as his shepherd? He saw himself as a sheep in the midst of wolves. Wolves in the position of King Saul. Hmm. Wolves in the position of the Philistines who hated Israel and hated David for killing their giant. So David saw himself as a sheep. And the sheep cannot succeed in his own power. So he saw his God as his shepherd. He is my shepherd. I cannot go by myself. There are enemies on the way. But for as long as this God leads me, I know I will succeed. And he addressed God as his what? His shepherd. Did God leave him alone? No. God actually led him. God led him based on what he saw God to be. God protected him from the wolves. Wherever he went, God went with him, protecting him. As you are doing this prayer, what do you see God to be in your life? Apart from being our father. It is what you see him to be that he will become for you. Praise the Lord. It is what you see him to be that he becomes for you. There is an upliftment coming. Promotion does not come from any other. It comes from God. In Genesis chapter 22 and verse 14, our father Abraham 
saw God as Jehovah Jireh, the one who provides. The man was in need. Praise the Lord. The man was in need. Deep in his heart, he wouldn't want to kill his only son. But God said, bring the son. He was in need. In fact, he declared it when the young boy asked him, Daddy, I have the fire. I have the wood. Where is the lamb for the sacrifice? He told his son prophetically that they should not worry, that the Lord will provide. Are you getting what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He declared it to Isaac before they got to the point of sacrifice because Isaac asked him. And he declared, don't worry, the Lord will provide. In other words, Abraham was seeing God as the provider. Abraham saw God as the provider. Praise the Lord. And because he saw God as the provider, God actually provided. What do you see God to be in your life? How do you see him? What are you looking up to him for? It matters a lot. As you do this prayer, as you engage yourself in this fasting, what are you trusting him for? What are you believing him for? See it in him and you will have it. Praise God. Abraham saw the provider in his God. And the God actually provided. David saw the shepherd. And the shepherd actually led him as a sheep. And he did not fall into the hands of his enemies. In all the battles, in all the challenges the man went through, he did not fall in the hands of the enemies because the shepherd was leading him as a sheep. Praise the Lord. I am confident of this one thing, that I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living while I am alive. Where I am now, I will see the goodness of the Lord. As a child of God, so Lord, God will not leave you. God will not leave you to go empty-handed. I will see it. I may not be seeing it now. Praise the Lord. What you desire from God, may, what you have on ground may be far from your desire. But keep seeing what you want to see. Keep believing what you know God can do for you. Praise the Lord. David made a declaration. I was young. Now I am old. But I've never seen the righteous forsaken. Why did he make that declaration? God never forsook him. Nor their children begging for bread. He spoke based on what happened in his own life. And whatever God did in his life, that same God can still do in your life. Mm -hmm. As you hear me this afternoon, whatever God has promised that he wants to do, whatever God has promised you that he will do, he is able to do. He has the capacity to do. Somebody who simply spoke and everything came to being. Praise the Lord. Nothing is hard for him to do. I have tasted and I can testify that this God, nothing is hard for him to do. And that is why I'm always happy when I see what my sister, the woman of God is doing. Encouraging people, praying for people, teaching them the right way. I want you to know Whatever you are trusting him for, these three days, your efforts cannot be wasted. Amen. It cannot be wasted. Amen. Stay tuned. You must stay connected. Mm. You must stay connected. I see help will come your way. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, in 1 Samuel chapter 22, 1 Samuel chapter 22, I want to share something with us. I want to share something with us. Your life will move from insult. We move from insult. You will move to the point where people see results of the handwork of God in your life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. First, in that particular scripture, 32, first Samuel, First Samuel 22, oh, 22, verse number one and two. The Bible declared, 
500 men from nowhere came to look for David while he was hiding, while he was running away from Saul. He was in the bush. 500 men who had no business staying inside the bush left the city, came to Are you still there? Are you still there? Yes, yeah, sir. All right. Yes. Yeah, All right. Your network was. We are here. Yes, yes. They, 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 I, I saw, I saw something like, please reconnect just now. Praise the Lord. So what I'm saying is this: God sent 500 men from nowhere to go give David support inside the bush. Why? That man needs to fulfill his destiny. It is the desire, it was the desire of God for him to be king. But now Saul wanted him dead. If God had not done that, to die before his time, God sent 500 men to go give him support. Upliftment is possible. These 500 men came to meet him in the bush to give him support, to lift up his hands, to help him to enter where God have ordained for him. 500 men. He did not forget you. This is what God can do. This same David was the one who made that declaration. I am confident of this fact that no matter what happens, I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. God actually showed himself worthy of believing in. That was what happened in that particular scripture. He came from nowhere to give him support. You may be trusting God for one thing or the other. Hmm, it's not what... Our challenges are different, but we have a God who has power to do anything. Unless whatever you are believing of, maybe there's an oppression, maybe there is a health challenge. Maybe there is a challenge in relationships or in your marriage. Whatever the, it is that you are believing him for, there is power in God to do it. Just hold on to your prayer. Hold on to your prayer. Continue to seek him. Mm. Don't surrender yet. Don't surrender yet. Don't give up yet. Don't look at your situation and tell yourself, well, I've been praying, I've been praying, I've been believing God for this, but it's not happening. No. Continue to believe him. Continue to trust him. Help will show up when you did not expect. Oh. That upliftment yeah. you are believing God for come at a time that you least expect because he is God. His ways are different from our ways. He said, as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are his ways. You can't predict him. You can't explain him. Praise the Lord. You can't predict him. The woman of God shared a testimony just now about somebody who sent a message that ah, she wants to be paying her tithe, she wants to be giving support. The woman of God never expected it. You don't say, God, ah, I know that tomorrow Mr. This or Mrs. This will do this for me. No. God, I am in need. I need this. How he will do it is his. Is his own business. Your own is to keep calling on him. Keep calling on him. 
keep trusting him. David trusted him. He said, God is his shepherd. No wolf can attack him because God is there. And at the point where he needed help, 500 men from nowhere, from nowhere, not his relatives. In fact, a lot of them were relatives of Saul who was after him. More than half of them were from the tribe of Benjamin, the family of Saul, his kinsmen. That's how the Bible put it. Network receive fire. This network. network receive fire. <laughs> uh, uh, hello, man of God. Hey, can you hear me now? Uh, it, it was can you hear me it was freezing it was freezing like a minute ago okay okay it asked me to reconnect uh, but, uh, <laughs> when it says you reconnect okay, it, you stop it, it's okay when you say reconnect don't talk anymore hold pause when it has finished connecting you can continue <laughs> so we don't miss anything okay 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 so like i said i said before the break god saw what the man was going through. Mm. That same God sees what you are going through. That's right. Are you with me? Mm. That same God sees what you are going through. Now, the woman of God put up this program is because she knows that God wants to do something new for you. Yes, sir. Like I said, you will come back to testify. Amen. But I've been, I, I, want to, I want to throw a little light on this particular fact that I want to share with us. If there is an oppression, as you pray in these three days, your heart, it will be lifted. But as you finish this prayer, if what you are pursuing, if what is So, doing is a financial challenge. Are you with me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes. Wow. Can you hear me? All right. Yes. If what you are, if what you are seeking has to do with your finance, there are things that there are certain things that prayer cannot. Can you hear me? Hey, this network. Can you hear me? We can hear now. It froze a while ago. Okay. I said, if what you are trusting God for It should not end with prayer. After this prayer, go and sow a seed. Sow into power. Come to you. He did not say if you are in need, go and pray. So let us not turn the Bible upside down. Are you together with me? Jesus said, if you give, oh, it's given it. to you. If you want financial increase, and then the thing started uh, dancing. Praise the Lord. If what you are believing has to do and prayer alone cannot solve it. When you finish this, your prayer, go and mm. 
network is so poor. Are we okay now? Are we okay now? Are you with me now? Yeah, but it flew hmm. a while ago too. If you are what okay. God for, I heard you though, it was breaking. It said, you said, if what you are believing God for is for financial breakthrough, go and sow a seed to power and great ministry. Was that what I heard? Yes. So if you are believing God for financial upliftment, don't end it at the point of prayer. Don't end it at the point of prayer. You have prayed. Good. But take a step further. Take a step further. further. Sow a seed sacrificially. God will move on your behalf. And you will come back to testify on this platform. I am telling you what I have experienced, what I have seen. Together. If you are sick, at the end of this prayer, you will see your healing. If you are oppressed in any other area, you will see solution. But if you are believing God for financial upliftment, don't end it with this prayer. Are you with me? So into this power and grace evangelistic ministry that I've That's the truth. That's the truth. Hallelujah. It, can, it, it, it cannot be disputed. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> finally, 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 before I leave, I want, us, I, I want to show you something that you will take back home. All that you read about in the Bible, you read about David, you read about Daniel, you read about Joseph, you read about Jacob, you read about Paul. You read about Jephthah. Did you pick up. All that happened in their life happened for real. And they were human. Looked unto God. They held unto God. They believed God. That in the land of the living, they will see the goodness of the Lord. And they actually saw it. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. They believed and actually saw the goodness of God. Don't read the Bible and go back and conclude, well, uh, you know, the true Daniel in the lion's den. And, ah, Daniel, if I were Daniel, I would have done more than that. Or it may not have been true. It's true. Everything that happened actually happened. But the difference was that they believed that in the land of the living, they will see the goodness of God. And this God did not deny them of his goodness. That is why I believe that God will not deny us of his goodness. All that they did in their time is past. You are the one who is here today. All that happened to Daniel is in the past. You are the Daniel of today. Will you turn back because you heard that 
there's going to be a lion's den in front of you? Would you turn back because you were told that there is a fire somewhere that if you don't bow, you will burn? No. As you do this prayer, I encourage you, believe it. Believe God for something. Like I told us earlier on, what you see God is what he will be in your life. What you see him to be is what he will be in your life. God never failed them. God never failed them. Because they believed in him. This God will not fail you. He will not fail you. He has never failed. He will not fail you. But as I conclude, I want to take your mind back. David saw God as his father, and he also saw God as his shepherd. And God actually led him. Abraham saw God as his father, and he also saw God as his provider. And God actually provided for him. And I also told you about Joshua. He saw God as the one who fights in the battles. Keep holding on to it. Address God in that manner. For instance, if, you're, if you have a challenge with childbearing, see God as your father and also see him as the one who gives children. And if he's the one who gives children and you are his child and you are in need of a child, then according to what you have seen in him, so it will work out for you. If you see him as a provider, he will provide for you. Your life will move from insult to the point where people see result of God's goodness. You will move from that point where people have mocked you. The beauty of it all is that those who mocked you, they will still be part of those who will come to celebrate with you. That's right. Network. May you see upliftment in the name of Jesus. Can we come? Can we, can we just pray together before I step aside? Yes. Just join me. Let's appreciate him. Let's appreciate him. Jesus. Thank him for being good to you. Thank him for all that he has thank done. You. Wherever you are, thank hearing you. the sound of my voice right now, thank him. Appreciate him for being good to you for helping you this far, for helping your family. And as you conclude this fasting and prayer, I want you to pray, God who has been good to me, God who has helped me this far, don't let me be. Elephant and eat like ants. After this program, after these three days, oh Lord God, let me see a change. Let me see a change. I want to also pray this prayer. God, every expectation of the wicked one concerning your life, concerning your family, let it backfire in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray that prayer as well. Every expectation of the wicked one, whatever they expected to see, they want to see you beg. They want to see you sick. They want to hear that somebody died and they look at the picture and it's your picture they are seeing. God, let it backfire. Every expectation of the wicked one concerning whoever planned me, oh God, whatever they have said, whatever they have decided to do, let it happen in their own house. 
This is the end of the year, and the end of the year is always very, very dangerous because powers of darkness need to balance account, and they balance account with blood. But whoever wants to balance account with your blood, may they use their own blood. May they use their own blood. In the name of Jesus, whoever wants to balance account with my blood, my God, let them use their own blood. Let them use their own blood. Whatever decision they have taken concerning me, anything they have said about me in this end of year, oh God, let it backfire. Jesus. Let it backfire. Let it backfire. Let the work of their hand be frustrated in the name of Jesus. Whoever wants to see you begging, whoever wants to hear that you are sick, whoever wants to hear that an accident happened that you were involved, let it happen in their own life. Anybody that wants me to die, oh God, Finally, I still want you to pray as we go. Just pray for yourself, Lord. Let your hand, let your hand rest upon me. Bless the work of my hands, oh God. Bless the work of my hands. Favor the work of my hands. As I go about my assignment, as I do my business, as I do my job, oh God, favor the work of my hands. Favor the work of my hands. Bless that which I am doing. The word of God says it is, the, it is what you are doing that God will bless. God will never throw money from heaven to anybody. It is what you are doing that he bless. Therefore, pray this prayer. Oh, Lord God, bless the work of my hands. Favor, favor, favor as I do my job, as I do my business. Favor in the name of Jesus. Finally, oh, Lord God, put pressure Put pressure on my helpers. Whoever can help me, whoever has my need, whoever can give me support, oh God, put pressure upon them. Let them remember me this week. Pray that prayer for yourself. Let them remember me. As many as can, help me. As I run this race, put pressure on my good customers. You are a trader. You are doing your own business. Pray for yourself. Put pressure on my good customers. Thank you. Thank you for an opportunity like this to share your word. We appreciate you. We appreciate you. God who answer prayers. It shall not be as usual. It shall not be as usual. Today, as we conclude this fasting and prayer, let the change begin. Let the change begin. Let the change begin. Let it change begin. Let it show up hold up, for the glory. Thank you. 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 Pray, that's what it is. <laughs> In slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. All right. Are we connected? <laughs> In now? Jesus' name, we pray was in slow, slow motion. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was I should reconnect. <laughs> My network. It was shame. God is good. God bless you so God much. God is good. The time. Yes, amen. <laughs> You. Amen. May the Lord refill you, refuel you, and replenish you in Jesus' name. God bless you. Amen. Thank you for coming. Thank Amen. you. Bless you. All right. See you some other time. See you in December. All right. Uh, <laughs> no problem. I'm always available. No shaking. God is good. All is well. God bless you. So All right. Much. Wow. Praise God. The network was bad, but uh, at least. We managed. We heard what he said. Believe God. You may not know how. You may not know when he will do it. But he will do it. When he gave Joseph a dream. The first dream. Second dream. Joseph did not know how. He will do it. Maybe we'll break our fast. And then we'll continue. 
uh we are coming back later anyways we are coming back around seven tonight so we are going to break we are going to pray and then we'll break you go and replenish yourself enjoy relax 7 p.m we'll be back with our woman of god pastor dora she's on for tonight 7 p.m god is not done with us yet all right so just get ready probably i will teach about dreams that will be the wrap of this uh, three days fast there is a lifting up there is a lifting up god is turning your insults into results insult as in oh family members are mocking you laughing at you you've been married for years you married your brother no child they are even calling you a man relax god will turn your insult into result except you don't have faith you don't believe it's just a matter of time he is the god that is able to do all things there is nothing that he god cannot do whatever situation you are going through i am saying to you now speak to yourself call your name say carol hear the voice of the lord there is a lifting up look at yourself say maggie hear the voice of the lord there is a lifting up speak to yourself oko or namaka hear the voice of the lord there is a lifting up begin to speak to yourself harriet hear the voice of the lord there is a lifting up whatever your name is linda hear the voice of the lord there is a lifting up because god never gives up on his people when David was going through the process, hey, even though God gave Moses, uh, not Moses, when God gave Joseph a dream, he still had to go through the process. And when Joseph was going through the process, he never understood that he was going through a process. He was shouting to his brothers, take me out of this pit, remove me. He was pleading with his brothers, but he was on his way to divine fulfillment. But the journey to divine fulfillment, it is not an easy journey. There is always a price to pray. There is always a price to pay there is always a price to pay but even in the midst of that journey even in the midst of that darkness even in the midst of that storm there is a lifting up why because your father he is walking you he is he is walking with you he is going with you in that journey see when joseph was going through his own process he thought it was an enemy but he had to go through the process we have to go through the process for divine fulfillment because it does not just fall from the sky you have to we have to but then joseph did not understand that he was going through a process actually when joseph was thrown in prison hey my god my god my god <laughs> I say, I was reading, I was studying this place and meditating. I was just thinking about it. And I was writing. There was a place that said, Jesus, Joseph remembered his dream when the fulfillment came. But in the journey, he forgot about the dream. You might have forgotten about yours too. You may be thinking these people are wicked, but his brothers never even understood that they were in the process of bringing Joseph's dream to fulfillment. But Joseph had to go through a journey. Joseph had to go through a process. He never understood why. You may not understand why you are going through what you are going through. You may not understand why. You are facing what you are facing, facing, but Joseph never knew that God was in the midst of his storm. Because the Bible recorded, I saw there, that when he got to Potiphar's house, the Lord was with him, even in Potiphar's house. And by the virtue of Joseph stepping into Potiphar's house, the house became blessed. God began to bless Potiphar's house. I'm going to teach about it later. It is so powerful. What is your dream? Are you afraid to dream? Better dream. 
start dreaming dream big and when you dream don't look about the don't look at the circumstances nobody thought that me sitting here yours sincerely 20 years later 25 years later 13 years later or 15 years later even 10 years even say five years later i will be the one doing what i'm doing now but god was in the midst of the storm it has not been a jolly jolly ride but God has been in the storm all the way. Your journey now, your process may not be an easy, easy ride, but God is in the midst of it. He will bring you to your own expected end. Did Joseph's dream not manifest? His brothers bowed to him. They paid homage to him. But when the dream came, hey, Makalabas, there may be haters. Hey, we will dig deeper when we come back because I don't know, I'm so much on fire right now. I feel like just, I know some of you are looking at your cracker, your Jew, your wine, your, you know, you want to break and go eat because you've not eaten for three days. We'll go, we, are going to, we are going to eat now, take a break, go and refresh yourself, come back for 7 p.m. And the woman of God will teach and I will teach and I will conclude with this topic. There is a lifting up. You need to put things in place. You need to put measures in place. Plan is in place so that your dreams can be fulfilled. So that you can be lifted up. If Joseph was still in his father's house eating and drinking without planning, that dream would not have been fulfilled. Right? So what are you doing for your own dreams to be fulfilled? We are going to talk more on it when we come back later tonight but for now bring your communion bring your let's have our communion and this communion is for divine fulfillment say to yourself divine fulfillment whatever god has planted inside of you whatever god has sent you to do whatever god has laid in you he will bring it to divine fulfillment and so this to see God says, for I know the plans that I have towards you. They are plans of good and not of evil. His plan is not to hurt us. Let us look at some of the promises of God. And when, you, when, you, when, when I'm reading out this scripture, you can write it down just to encourage yourself to know that it is not over yet. It is not over. God is still working on you and God is preparing you for the bigger picture. There are some things that God cannot give to you now because you are not ready for it. It has to shift you. It has to bring you to that level of readiness. And then he can now endow you. Then you'll be able to take it and run with it. If Joseph was still tending sheep in his father's house, he would not have fulfilled his destiny. So you need to know that God's plan for you is of good and not of evil. You need to know that God has a very special plan and a purpose for your life. Psalm 145 verse 9. It said, the Lord is good to all, irrespective of whom you are. He has compassion on all he has made. Understand this, that God is good. He's a good, good God. It is not over until he says so. That's right, Sister Carol. He's, he said, God, the Lord is good to everybody, and that everybody is you, inclusive. First Chronicles 16, 34. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. You are loved by him, and his love over your life endures forever, irrespective of what you do. For the Lord is good, and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. So his faithfulness did not end in the time of Abraham, or in the time of David, or in the time of Joseph, or in the time of Joshua, or in the time of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, or in the time of Daniel, or in the time of the three Hebrew men, or in the time of Jesus, even in the time with the woman, woman with the issue of blood, even his, his, his faithfulness, his goodness, his mercy is from generation to generation, even in our own generation. Catch it. Catch it and understand that God is involved. His covenant is always trustworthy. His promises are good towards his servant. Are you not his servant? Hmm? 
Psalm 34, it tastes and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who takes refuge in him. All you need to do is that. Take refuge in him. Take refuge in him. That is all you need to do. Refuge. Refuge in him. The Lord is good. No. He said to, uh, Psalm 34, 8. Listen. Psalm 34, 8. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who takes refuge in him. In this time of, of waiting, where do you take refuge? Some people begin to take refuge in smoking. People begin to take refuge in alcohol. They take refuge in womanizing, flirting, immorality. They take refuge in other gods. But blessed is the man, blessed is the woman who takes refuge in God. Why? Because he is a good God and his promises are yea and amen. He will never slack. The Bible says that God is never slack concerning his promises. What is happening today? God told me in 1997, how many years later? 1997 was when he told me, I am an evangelist. He's going to take me around the world. He's going to do this and that and that and so and so and so. But now it started in 2017, the first time I ever preached online. But officially, it started February 2018. This ministry is started officially in February 2018, just one year plus. But the vision was, the revelation was in 1997. It does not matter when God spoke to you. But the fact is that he takes you through the journey. He takes you through the process. But in the process of waiting, make sure he is your refuge. Make sure he is your strong tower. Make sure you put your confidence in him, not in anybody. He said in Nahum 1 7, he said, The Lord is good, a refuge in times of trouble. He cares for those who trust in him. That is another issue. Some people will trust for one day, two days, three days. Oh, because you don't have a child for me, from divorce. I don't want you. You want to go and take another wife. Second wife continues to no child. At the end of the day, you have married five wives. Why five wives? Still no children. It is not about how many wives or husbands. It is about him that showeth mercy. In your waiting, say for the, uh, uh, we are married in um, Nahum 1 7. Say the Lord is good, number one, a refuge in times of trouble. What is the trouble you are going through? He's your refuge. He cares for those who trust in Him. So there is limitation in the people that God cares for. He said, for those who take refuge in him. So if you are taking refuge outside of him, what happens? That means he said he cares for those. So if you are not taking your full refuge in him, go and take refuge in him. If you are trusting in your own ability, stop it. Blessed, he cares for those who take refuge. In him. For the Lord God is a son and a shield. The Lord bestows favor and honor. No good thing does he withhold from those who walk in blameless. Whose work, whose work is blameless. Why you guys, you are not typing the scripture. You should be typing this scripture. Psalm 84, 11. Look at what it says. Psalm 84, verse 11. It says, for the Lord God is a son and a shield. The Lord bestows, he gives, he favor. He bestows favor and honor. He, God gives favor. It is God that will give honor. No good thing does he withhold from those whose work is blameless. Now ask yourself. Is your work with him blameless? He's not talking about your physical work. It is in this race. Are you the one that serves God when things are good? Are you the one that turns your back on him when things are bad? He says, no good thing will he withhold from you, from me, from us. 
if our work with him is blameless is your work blameful you are causing angry keeping a, a you are disobedient malice you are being controlled by unforgiveness name all of these things is that what is coming out of you then your work is blameful you cannot receive favor because sin is involved you want these are keys for greater heights these are keys this is for you to understand these are keys for your lifting there is a lifting up but before your lifting can be manifested you yourself has to be connected to the lifter there is a lifting up yes but who is lifting you up god and so if you are far away from him how do you expect him to lift you up if your ways are not 100 percent right how do you expect him to lift you up when you are not living in fulfillment to the scriptures how do you expect him to lift you up for you to be lifted up you need to follow his word you need to obey his word you need to um, understand principles you need to understand his principles and you need to step into his principles and you need to follow his principles you cannot be lifted up on your own terms. Today you are in Christ, tomorrow out of Christ. Today you are online, tomorrow you don't care. Only when you are in problem, you remember the woman of God. Only when you remember, when you are in problem, you remember your pastor. God does not work that way. I was saying yesterday that God is not a dumpyard. Many of you are dumpyards. Only when you have issues, you remember the woman of God. Uh, even on her birthday, you will not remember her. Even Christmas time, you will not celebrate her. Look at what that sister just did. I want to honor you. Sometimes it's not even about your money. Just the words that she spoke was so much encouragement to know that the life that she's even aspiring to be like me. Lord, I pray that God will help me to be like you. That one alone is priceless. That is somebody that appreciates what God is doing. Many people said they've come, we've prayed for them, they got delivered, they run, they run off. Trust me, right now, they have more demons in them. If they come back, I pray for them again, you will see demons manifesting. I guarantee you 100% that the demons we cast out of them has returned times seven. Why? Because they left the platform. Probably they even left God. Or they are no longer persistent. He says, hey, he says, those that will walk with him, blameless. Is there anything that is causing blame, bringing blame, that the devil is even accusing you of? Lies, deceit, fornication, adultery, cheating, name it. Hold on to the promises of God. Believe in his word. Even when they, what, see, when Joseph, no, Joseph went through a lot, apart from his brothers, when he began to say, oh, thank God, the storm is over, Potiphar's wife showed up again. The guy landed, landed in prison. Even his boss disappointed him. His boss did not even consider that this guy cannot do such a thing. Can somebody vouch for you? Even Pharaoh could not vouch to say, oh, I know Joseph. He's not that kind of person. And say to his wife, no, 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 no. Can somebody de defend your character? Your character as a Christian sucks. Your giving as a Christian sucks. You are so stingy and you want to be blessed. The man of God was saying, if you want to be blessed financially, there are, there are principles, there are laid down principles. There are laid down principles, but you have to, you have to give. Are you blameless? Are you living a blameless? Yeah, 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 yeah. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. We are going to stop now. Isaiah 40, 29. I'm going to read a few more scriptures, maybe two or three, and then we are going to stop. Isaiah 40, 29. Type it. Isaiah 40, 29. Look at that. He says, he gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. What do you say? I am strong. I am, uh, uh, and I, uh, I, how does that song go again? I am weak even when I'm strong. Why? Because your confidence is in him. Your strength is in him. You are not looking at your own ability. You are not looking at your own strength, your own power. You are not looking at your own achievements. No, you are laying down your own life right into his own. You are planting yourself into him. And then he gives you strength even in the time of weakness. 
There are times you are weak. You are going through so much troubles. You are going through so much difficult time. You are going through so much challenges, but you are strengthening yourself. You encourage yourself. You, you, you know, you just rest in his, in his own strength, even in your own time of weariness. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Look at what he does. How does he do that through the word, through prayer? Because you see this thing happening. You say, hey, Father, this is this one. Ah, this is not what I was expecting for myself. But Lord, I thank you because I know you are in control. That is you putting your confidence in him. Even though what you are seeing is negative, even though what you are seeing doesn't make sense, but you just trust in his word. And then he begins to supply you the strength. He begins to supply you the strength. He begins to supply you the power to go through that time. Isaiah 40, 30, I say, but those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. Somebody type it. Isaiah 40, 31. Isaiah 40, 31. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Who? Those that hope in the Lord, those that put their trust in him. This is what will happen to you. They will renew their strength. They will mount up with wings of, or, like, or like eagles. They will run and not go weary. Ha, they will walk and not faint. You cannot fail. Why? Because your strength is in the Lord most high. And look at it. We are going to end with this promise. In Isaiah 43, 2. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. It's just like the three Hebrew men. This was even a physical fire. But here he's referring to the things like, he's not talking about you just taking seeing fire, then you go and walk through it because you will not be burned. That fire will burn you. He's talking about, you know, sometimes you can be on fire because of attacks, because of difficult situations, because of all these things happening in your life. You may be going through storm, you may be going through a difficult time, but God is giving you this promise that while you are going through this season, that he is right there with you. He says, I will be with you. That is a promise. And let this be your encouragement that you are not alone. I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep you. The rivers will not overshadow you. That problem is not for your destruction. That problem will not destroy your life. They will not sweep over you. They will not sweep you away. When you walk through the fire, that temptations, that difficult situation, when you walk through it, you will not be burned by it because it will give you grace to overcome. The flames will not even set you on, will not even come near you. That is the God that you serve. Now I want you to open your mouth and pray for yourself. Father, remember me. Remember me, Lord. Help me. Help me, Father. I need your help. You are the one that knows what you are going through. Talk to your Father. Lord, I need your help. Daddy, I need your help. I cannot help myself. Oh, Lord, I cannot help myself. Are you praying? Father, help me. Jesus, help me. Jesus, help me. Jesus, help me. Oh, God, help me. Lord, I need your help. My help is in you. You are my shepherd. You are my strong tower. Lord, increase my faith. Help my doubts. Help my unbelief. Help me, Jesus. Because that is the only hindrance, faithlessness. Doubt and unbelief will stop the, the divine manifestations of God in your life. Lord, have mercy. Help me. Help my faithlessness. Help my doubts. Help my unbelief. Help me to trust you wholeheartedly. Help me to trust you completely.
Help me to trust you for everything and anything. Help me, oh God, to rely and depend on you. Not in my own strength. Not in my own ability in the name of Jesus. Begin to thank him for your lifting. Begin to say, Lord, I thank you for every open door in my life. I thank you, Jesus, for my open doors. Because my case is settled. My case is settled. It is a new dawn. Begin to thank him for your new dawn. Begin to thank him for this new glory. Begin to thank him for his mighty works. Begin to thank him for his wonderful works. Begin to appreciate him. He is God. Begin to celebrate his faithfulness. Father, we are grateful to you. Thank you for being with us in these three days. Thank you for your strength. Thank you for the ability to fast and wait on you. Thank you because our doors are opened. Thank you because of you know we know we believe that there is a lifting up. There is a lifting up. There is a lifting up. There is a lifting up in our marriages, in our careers, in our settlements. There is a lifting up, oh God, in all areas of our lives. Lord, we thank you because we are lifted. Above principalities and powers, we are lifted. Daddy, we thank you because we know, Lord, that you are walking behind the sin for our glory. We know that you are making a way of escape for us. We know that you are walking behind the scene. We thank you for our challenges. We thank you for the storm. We thank you for the fire because like God, we are going to go through them and we are going to come out better. We are going to come out more fulfilled. We are going to come out with our testimonies. But Lord, we receive grace for the season like you gave to Joseph to bear his season. We receive grace for the season. Lord, we receive grace for the season. In the mighty name of Jesus, Ah, Jehovah God, you are faithful. Lord, you are worthy. Lord, you are awesome. We are not afraid of the devil. We are not ignorant of his devices. <laughs> but our confidence is in you, O oh God. Father, we thank you. For strength, we thank you for grace. We thank you for the enablement, O oh God. Thank you for lifting us up. Thank you because we know we are lifted. Every doors are open in our lives. I decree now and I begin to declare to everybody right now, let your doors be opened. Let your doors be opened. Everything you fasted for in these three days, everything you waited on God for in these three days, I declare them released to you now. You will come and you will share your testimony. Hey, in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything you are believing God for, that you waited on, that you trusted him for, in the past three days, that you fasted for, I decree and I declare that they are released unto you as a mouthpiece of heaven. I decree, I declare, receive them now, receive them now. Receive them now. Receive them now. Receive them now. I receive them now. There is somebody here. You are shouting. I receive. I receive. The Holy Ghost told me. You are just shouting. I receive. I receive. I said, you know, you were just waiting for me to say it. I said, receive it in Jesus' name. It is yours. Some of you will receive within seven days. Before the end of this year. You will come and share your testimony. In the name of Jesus, your doors are opened. Every one, every man, woman, boy, girl, young, old, every normal human living being or any wicked witch or demonic entity or powers from anywhere that is fighting against your doors, that, has, that is fighting against your promotion, that are fighting against your breakthrough, that are fighting against your health, that are fighting against the promises of God in your life today, I silence them. I frustrate them. I render all their works against you useless and powerless. Every arrow they have thrown to you and I command it by fire to boomerang and bounce back to their head. Right now, let that evil arrow bounce back to their head. I decree and declare that they will use their own head to carry their evil loads in the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, and in the name of God the Holy Ghost. It is settled in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Now bring out your bread. Bring out your communion, your wine. I need to pour my wine. It's time for, let's break our fast with communion. Make sure it's non-alcoholic wine. This is what I use. 
Bring out your communion now. Get your cream cracker. <laughs> My cream cracker. You can get any cream cracker. If you know how to make the living bread, you can also have your living bread. But we don't have living bread, so we use this. We use cream cracker and uh, our red wine. Hallelujah. Get your communion ready. Get your bread and your wine. Get your bread and your wine. This is my wine for me and my family, me and my children. So I always give my children communion. Make sure you always give your children communion. It's good. So I always have extra, extra, extra communion. My, my plate is full. See my plate? It's full. For me and my children. So make sure you get for yourself and your children too. Always give them. Not even only when we come. Make sure every now and again you are always giving them communion. It's very good. Praise the Lord. I have my wine. Have you got your wine? I want to pray now. This communion, Father, type if re type ready, ready, type ready. Whether even though even though you did not fast, I know some of you couldn't fast. Some of you are pregnant. You didn't fast, but get your communion ready. Because you are pregnant, you didn't fast. Still get your communion ready. Get your communion ready. Get your communion ready. Type ready if you are ready. Anyway, even if you miss it, you can always come back to the prayer. Praise the Lord. Lift it. Hold them in your two hands like that. Carry both of them. Hold your communion. Hold your wine and hold your um, your your bread. This is representing bread. It's representing the blood of Jesus. I'm just going to bless it and then we can eat it. Father, we thank you for this communion. We bring it before you, Lord. It's a seal for these three days. Father, this communion is the for communion for liftings. It is the communion for favor. It is the communion for open doors. It is for the communion for healing. It is the communion for supernatural breakthrough. It is the communion for divine intervention, oh God. Lord, we pray as we, our families are taking, are being partakers of this communion. Lord, this is the, 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 your, the bread that represents your flesh. And this is our wine that represents your blood. As we eat your flesh and drink your blood, let it begin to put Put everything right in our lives. Let it begin to connect us to our helpers of destiny. Let it begin to let us begin to experience supernatural healing in the mighty name of Jesus. Open doors, answers, oh God, in the name of God, the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Father, we thank you, Lord. Lord, we give you praise. It is no longer ordinary cream cracker bread or biscuit. It is now your flesh. It is no longer ordinary wine. It is now your blood. Thank you, Father. We have turned our communion to your body and to your blood, and we will drink in health, in peace, in divine answers, in the name of Jesus. Our doors are open. We will be celebrated. Our children will be celebrated. None of us shall die. This is the communion of life and for life in the name of Jesus. We will not see the end of this year in the name of Jesus. Thank you, faithful Father. It is well with all of us in Jesus' name. Amen and amen and amen. This is the body of Christ that was broken for us. Eat in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And this is the blood of Jesus that was shed for us on the cross. Drink for your total freedom in Jesus' name. Amen. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Hmm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Just begin to appreciate him. Begin to thank him. Begin to appreciate him. Hallelujah. Hmm. Begin to thank him. Hallelujah. Something is happening in the spiritual. Something is happening in the spiritual realm. 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 
levels are shifting. Hey, makala la la bosim taraba. Just begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray for yourself in the Holy Ghost. Your Holy Ghost power will come upon you. Hmm. Hmm. He's, I hear he's going to give somebody an account as you are praying in the Holy Ghost. Libra katos kente riba katalaba sentete. Rakatos kente libo kotori kadada bo sentele bos. Mashente rebos kantalaba katoi kadabo seteria. Rabragado do bos kentele bos kantaliba katoria katatata ba sekete ba. Mashente rebos kantalabas kentele bos. Riprakatata bas kenteliba katos in taraba. Hey. Power. Power of the Holy Ghost. Power of the Holy Ghost in operation right now. <laughs> Atmosphere is shifting. Your situations are changing. Helpers are locating you. My God. Doors has been opened. Thank you, Father. All the glory must be to the Lord. For he, he is worthy of my praise. No mother should give glory to himself. Oh, the glory must be to you, Lord. To him alone be all the glory. To him alone be all the honor. To him alone be all the adoration in Jesus' name. It is well with you. It is well with you. And it is well with you. It is settled. Tell me how you feel right now. Some of you feel so peaceful. You feel so relaxed. Like he even spoke to somebody. I hear that he, the Holy Ghost spoke to you and told you it is well. Who is that person? The Holy Ghost told you it is well. The Lord, he just gave you a kind of confirmation. Relax. Chill. Peace. You just feel, so then you just feel like a heavy weight has just been lifted off your shoulder. Confirm. The Holy Ghost does not just speak like that. There is somebody here that felt like that. Who is the person? We want to go now. I'm just waiting for confirmation. How do you feel? After fasting for three days, no food. And after the communion, suddenly you just felt like it is over. The storm is over. How do you feel right now? Confirm. I'm wearing. I know there is delay in transmission. Mm -hmm. On the watch party, somebody says, I feel good. How do you feel? She said, I feel good. Hmm. You're feeling good because God has done it. Mm -hmm. She heard it is finished. <laughs> she typed it is finished. There is some people, some people are on, some people are on the watch party. Mm -hmm. Relax and more at peace. It is well. Uh -huh. The Holy Ghost does not lie. I'm so calm. The Holy Ghost doesn't lie. Mm. Sister Caro says, relax. I'm more at peace. It is well. That is the Holy Ghost. That is the power of the Holy Ghost. So, don't be annoyed. I'm eating though. I'm eating my more communion for more energy. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Mm. That is what God can do. Hmm? May everything you receive today be permanent in your lives in Jesus' name. It is well with all of you. You will come back with your testimony in the name of Jesus. One last thing. Don't go without dropping your seed. Your offering, Thanksgiving offering, it is always good. 
Don't come before God. After everything, give him your thanksgiving offering. It is very good. That is a seal. You seal it. In the past three days, you've been fasting and praying. Now God is speaking to you as well. Don't just go without dropping a seed. Always send your offering. Your thanksgiving offering or your seed to say, Lord, thank you. And I use this seed to connect to these declarations and to connect to this prayer. It is settled. Or to connect to these three days of fasting. It is settled. In the name of Jesus, and your seed will activate your results. Your seed will activate your answers. I know people don't like to hear this, but it is a spiritual principle. And that is why they keep asking for prayer for financial breakthrough because they are not following principles. May the Lord bless all of you in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you for how far you have led us today. Thank you, Lord, for your presence. Thank you for your grace of Jesus. Uh, thank you for answers to prayers. Thank you for the release. Thank you for the release of your presence. Thank you for the release of miracles and testimonies in the name of Jesus. May your name be praised forever. Thank you, Heavenly Father. May your name be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless all of you. If you missed the communion, it's okay. Don't worry. Just go back, play the video again, and then repeat. And even anytime you want to do communion for your family, children, you can always come back, save the video. And I probably will just do a, just a communion video on its own, a short video communion that you can save. Like anytime you want to do Communion on your own. Just play it. Bring your anything. Just pray on what you want it to work for you. And it will work for you. I'm going to do that. I pray that God will give me the grace and the time to just do a video on communion like that. Just do only communion. And then we will we, we, we post it. And then you can save it. So it's so a communion video. And I'll also be doing, I'll be doing some deliverance videos as we go on as well. You can save it. You can then just use it to pray when you feel like you need, you need fire or something. And I know that God, God, God will help us. We are moving forward. We are marching forward. God has been so good. Uh, we are going to Italy next week. Next week. Wow. If you know anybody on your platform, you know anybody in Italy, we are actually going to be in Verona, Italy on Thursday. Will be program starts on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I believe God that it is going to be awesome. So just come ready, come prepared, and the Lord will meet with them in the name of Jesus. If you are in Italy, make your way to Verona. If you are even in Europe and you can transport yourself, make yourself to Verona. I mean, uh, uh, move yourself, shift yourself, <laughs> transport yourself anyhow to Verona, and God will bless you. Yeah, so just like, like play, like play is already here. Next week, Thursday, I've already started packing. <laughs> I started packing yesterday. You see, I started packing my bags yesterday. Me, as me, I pack early. I pack ahead of time. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. So, share the flyer. Share the, I'm, I'm going to post it again. Share the flyers on your page. Invite people. You don't know. You may have a follower that is in that country. Even use it for your profile pictures. That is one way to advertise as well. Use the flyer for your profile picture. That's the flyer. Shalom Wears has it on something like that for your profile. So whenever you are leaving a comment, people will see it. They will click on it. Come to your page. See if it's in their country and they are even it's even near them. They would want to come. They would like to come. Mm -hmm. So that is it. I pray that God. <laughs> I pray that God will help us in Jesus' name. God bless all of you. Um, it is well with you. We'll be back tonight, seven around 7 p.m., I think, for the next uh, broadcast. So we've not finished. We only broke, so you broke the fast. Oh, tomorrow is your birthday. Happy birthday in advance. God bless your new age in advance. Wow, are you are receiving a powerful gift. That is your birthday gift very soon. Wow, God bless you. Settle you promotes you and everyone having a bad day this month the lord bless you settle you promote you in the mighty name of jesus it is well with all of you hallelujah god bless all of you see i don't even want to go i'm not even in a rush to go and eat eat food harriet send your offering all of you send your offering connect this prayer 
communion, everything with your offering, with your seed. God bless you. God bless all of you. See you later tonight, this evening, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen and amen. I love you guys. If you have not shared, it's not too late. You can still share. They can always watch later. Still host watch party. I see some of you, even when we are gone, you start hosting watch parties. I see it because Facebook will notify me. I appreciate that. God bless you for helping us, uh, for helping us to promote our, our ministry. God will bless you. Um, it is well with all of you in Jesus' name. Continue to do that. Share to Messenger to go and join groups on Facebook because of us. Join groups with people. So you can be sharing our videos in those groups. Look for groups that have many people, that have a lot of people, or the ones that don't have a lot of people. Just look for group share and share our videos to, to these groups. The Lord bless you, keep you, cause his face to shine upon you in Jesus' name. I love every one of you. I love you guys. You make it so easy. You make it enjoyable. Wow, God bless you. I appreciate every single one of you in Jesus' name. Shalom. Peace be still. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.